Hello designers, welcome back to another video. In our today's video, I'm going to talk about an amazing plugin called Animated, and it's created by Vijay. Uh, if you're not aware of Vijay, he's an amazing Figma wizard. He creates amazing plugins and awesome illustrations on Figma. Definitely check out his work. But jumping back to the video, in our today's video, as I said, we'll be seeing how to use this plugin. What this plugin does, it helps you create animations on Figma, and you can just apply these preset animations on any layer on Figma. Unlike other plugins where you see the animation run on the the window the animations you apply here actually runs on figma's prototype itself so that's the best part it basically makes use of figma's inbuilt animations but all the plugin does is automate the work of adding interactions and stuff like that right so let's jump right onto my screen and i'm going to show you how to apply these animations with this plugin so what i have on my screen is a couple of slides from a presentation and i want to apply some basic animations on these presentations because i want to present it to the clients right so if i follow the traditional method then what i have to do is duplicate these uh, frames here set the start position for this and then the end position and then start animating it manually by adding interactions right but that's a hectic process right so this plugin makes it really simple so what you want to do is just open this plugin it's called animated if you go to animated you'll find it in the plugin section so once you click on this you'll see this one right so these are some preset animations that you can see and as you hover on it you'll see the preview of the animation as well there are a lot of preset animations here right so you can check them out probably he'll be adding more to this as well but as of now this is really a cool list that we have here so let's start adding the animations right so let's say for this title i want it to appear from the left or maybe just fade in right so all i have to do is select this layer right here you can see it got selected here and then let's uh, just check for the animation that you want right so slide in from left this looks cool all you have to do is just select this and say create animation set and that will create a component set at the bottom, right? So here you have the component set. This basically has two variants, state one and state two. All you have to do is uh, select the state one and paste it wherever you want this animation to happen, right? And also it gets applied automatically, but uh, its position has slightly shifted down. So all you have to do is just move it up. And now it's here. It's right now empty because that is the initial state of the animation. Uh, first it's empty and then it comes from the left, right? So now let's just preview it and see how this works, right? So I just click on the slide and I press shift spacebar and there you go. There I have the preview. I'll just run it again. You saw that, right? That's a simple animation applied on a layer. Now let's do it on these as well, right? So let's apply it on a couple of more layers and see how that looks. I'm going to select this one right here and I want something cool for this one. So yeah, this looks good. Flip horizontal. So I'm just going to select this one. You can see the preview as well, right? And apart from uh, running it once, right? So what you saw here is that the animation plays once and it just stops, right? You can also apply loop animation so that it continuously loops, right? So for that reason, just go to this advanced settings and then enable the loop here. And in case you want a delay, so probably you want this animation to happen first and then you want this one to happen, right? So I can also apply a delay. So let's say a delay of one second, which is nothing but thousand milliseconds and just click on create animation set. And there you go. Right now it drops the animation set anywhere on the canvas, right? So you just have to bring it and place it somewhere uh, convenient. So that is done. And it also got applied here. You don't have to replace anything. Let's apply apply this and this as well right so i'll just apply some random animation just fast forwarding this part right And there you go, I applied animations on all these elements right here. Now let's just preview this and see how this looks, right? So I'm just clicking on space, shift space bar, and one after the other, you can see the animations appear, right? So you can see the animations appearing, and all I did was just apply these animations, and just you can see that the component sets are created. And in case you want to play or uh, play around with the timing as well, you can do that as well. So all you have to do is come here. I'll just close this for now. And all you have to do is select these animations right here or the variants right here and come here and here you see the animations being applied, right? So all you got to do is click on that and apply the timings, right? So I'll just make this 600 milliseconds instead of 300. So I'm just increasing the timings here. So again, selecting all of these, increasing the timing. All right, now let's play this and see how that looks. So you see that there's a delay in between all of these, right? So this one starts immediately after this, and then after this begins, this one starts, and then this one, right? So just increasing the word, and there you go. These cool animations were applied with just a plugin, and it's running right on your prototypes. So definitely check out this plugin. I'll also mention the link for this plugin in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. And if you want to watch more such videos, definitely subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.